Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bachiva and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are gonna make lentil flatbread and for this basic recipe, all you're gonna need is red lentils and that's it. Well, red lentil and water. Now, before we start, I just wanted to say that this is not a French recipe. I normally uh, make healthy French recipes but this one is not and the reason that I do this recipe today is because many of you ask me to make this recipe. It's a super healthy recipe, easy to make and it can go with so many things. So I'm going to show you how I make it in two different ways, in small flatbread and larger one and I'm going to have it with some falafel which uh, by the way if you're new here and you don't know I am French but I grew up in Israel and the most popular street food in Israel is falafel so it's something that I love and I'm familiar with so let's start and I'm going to show you how to make this amazing flatbread so to start with we're going to um, wash and drain one cup of red lentils They're orange, but I don't know why they call them red lentils. And if you try this with green lentil, it's gonna be a little bit harder for a reason that the red orange lentil are much softer, they absorb water quicker, um, and the green lentil are harder. So go and stick with those. Uh, so we have one cup. I will normally um, wash them, uh, put them to a strainer and wash them well. And um, after I wash them, I will just add two cups of water. And of course, I already pre soaked them. So here they are. So you put one cup of red lentils, two cups of water, and you let it sit for two hours. Now, as you can see, um, the color is a bit lighter. It's because they've been soaked. And now we're gonna put our lentil with the water in a food processor. I don't add anything besides salt and a little bit of black pepper because I don't eat the bread just like that. I will add stuff on it, so I don't wanna overpower it. Um, you'll be surprised, but this bread come out with a lot of flavor. With, sorry, you'll be surprised, but <laughs> Those flatbread, they come out with a lot of flavors already, just from the lentils. So you add a little bit of salt, and this is totally optional. Now we're gonna blend it. Now I like to blend uh, the mixture for about a minute. You can easily do about 40 minutes, 40 seconds. That's all you need. And as you can see, we have a smooth dough. And now we're gonna make our flatbread. Now I have two options. I have that uh, mini pan. It's kind of a pancake pan. And normally I like to make them here. Uh, for two reasons, it's a non-stick and I can just make it without adding any oil. Uh, but because we want to do a sandwich with our falafel, so I'm going to also make a large one. Uh, so let's start with the small one and then go to the big one. All right, with the tiny pan, I'm going to put on low to medium heat. You can make a very big flame and you just let it uh, warm up for a minute. Now you want to be careful and don't make it too thick. Now we're going to let it cook um, until we see that it's starting to form a solid uh, surface and then we're going to flip it over. Okay, I think now it's time to flip it. And here it has a nice color but it's not burned, which is good. Now we're gonna cook it on the other side and that's it, it's ready. 
All right, so our bread is ready. This is the mini version of it. You can still see the steam. It's a bit still a little bit hot. But look how nice it is. It's crunchy from the outside and soft inside. Oh, it's hot. So you could eat it just like that. And it has so much flavor. You can have it with peanut butter. I have some hummus here. And you can either spray the bread and look, you can really make a sandwich out of it. It doesn't break. It's pretty flexible. I will just dip my bread in some hummus and just eat it. Mm. I love this. This is so good. Now, I want to show you how I make the bigger version of this uh, flatbread. So I can show you how I roll it with some uh, falafel, some salad, and it's going to be like a big wrap. And I'm going to keep eating this little one later. Before we continue, I would like to ask you to go to our description box below and check out our Patreon account. Our Patreon account is the way to support this channel so I can continue and create videos for you guys. So go check it out. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's go back to our recipe. All right, so for the next one, we have a pretty big pan here. So I'm just gonna put it on high to warm it up. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of oil since it's um, it does stick to it. I find it easier with oil. You can put olive oil. I'm going to use avocado because that's what I have right now. I don't use oil so often. So I'm going to put a little bit. I like to take paper and spread it a little bit. So it's not too soggy. All right. So now it's pretty warm. I'm just gonna take our dough again, give it a shake, and boom. Now you wanna move your pan as you go. You don't wanna make it too thick. Put a little bit more. And quickly, quickly spread it so it's evenly spread. And I think that's a good I think that's a good size and I think it's pretty spread evenly so now we're gonna reduce the heat because we don't want to burn it I'm gonna reduce the heat and let it cook I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for a minute and then we're gonna flip it over it's time to check on our bread uncover it and try to flip it all right it's going pretty smooth and it looks nice, but I like I like it to have a little bit more color, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it uncovered this time. All right, it's time to flip it. Now there's one thing I don't like about those very large ones that I'm always afraid to break them. I mean, one, two, three, up, oh, I did it. I will definitely flip it over because it looks nice and it's crunchy, but I like it with a little bit more color. But for now, I wanna cook the other side. And then we can always flip it again. I will, this time I will leave it uncovered for the other side. All right, now you can see there's more color in here and I flipped it over again and it's crunchy and has a really nice color, that's what I wanted. Now I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and I will assemble our falafel wrap. All right, now it's time to assemble our falafel wrap and I'm gonna start with some tahini. If you're not familiar with tahini, tahini is made of sesame seed and that's it. So it's a very healthy spread and I'm just gonna spread a little bit. There you go. Then I'm gonna add my falafel balls. I have some pre-made falafel balls. I did not make it from scratch. They're pre-made uh, from Trader Joe's. They're pretty good, I can say. 
I have space for maybe three balls here. I'm gonna add some Israeli salad, which is uh, cucumbers and tomatoes with some uh, lemon and parsley. I added some black pepper and salt. And this is very tradition uh, to put in a wrap with falafel. And then I also have a cabbage salad that I made with some carrots. I'm gonna add some of that too. Now, as you can see, the lentil wrap is very soft. You can play with it. It doesn't rip apart. Look at that. And there's no flour, so it's gluten-free. There's no eggs, no dairy. Oops, and the juice is coming out. Um, but yeah, so this is my falafel wrap. Gonna take a bite. Mm. This is so good. I instantly had a bite of the falafel, which is, I love falafel. I just love it. Falafel is made of chickpeas, garbaza bean, if you are not familiar. Um, the beans are blend with uh, spices and herbs. So it's all plain based, all very healthy. And Again, there's so many things you can do with those lentil wraps. I normally uh, do not make falafel and I just bought this pre-made falafel pack because we had guests this weekend. Uh, but normally what I do is that I have uh, chickpeas that I fried a little bit on the pan and this is it. So you can have like a, a bean wrap with some corn and salad whatever you feel like, the sky's the limit. And again, the lentil has a lot of flavor, so do not overpack it with, um, with seasoning. I will recommend you try it once at least, and then see, depending on what you eat it with. This one is packed of flavors. You can see I added the cabbage salad, the, the tomato and cucumber, some tahini, so there's so many flavors going on. And I like to keep it simple. Now, one last thing that I want to say about lentils, the reason that I love lentils so much, they are packed in good health benefits for you guys. Um, a cup of cooked lentil, just like we use for this recipe, can provide 18% of protein. Um, that would make about four large wraps or six to eight small ones. That's plenty. You might not eat it it all in once but i want to remind you that here we have falafel or if you add beans that's extra protein so that's a lot lentils also has minerals such as iron potassium um and also vitamin b6 so there's a, so much goodness in lentils so i recommend to eat it as many as much as often as you like and just enjoy it. there's so many ways to make it now I'm gonna uh, wait for my friend Elizabeth who is coming for lunch and I will see if I can get her on this video to uh, see what she thinks about the uh, lentil wraps and we're gonna finish our video there. So I will see you in a bit. So my friend Elizabeth is a bit shy so we're only gonna show her plate. And she's kind enough to tell us what you think about the uh, lentil bread yeah it's got a delicious nutty flavor and a chewy texture yeah try it with all the rest mm. it makes a good wrap isn't it mm -hmm. so if you just have a tortilla um, a corn tortilla a wheat tortilla and this it doesn't feel much different with the texture right or it does what do you feel it's different, but I like it more. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor, right? So, bon appetit to us. So we're going to have a lunch, and after lunch, we're going to pick up Sarah early because we're going to see a show. What show are we seeing, Elizabeth? Shen Yun. Shen Yun, it's a... Chinese a, dancers. Yes, and we are very excited. Sarah woke up so early this morning because she's so excited. Um, so normally she finishes at 3 o'clock, but now it's noon, and we're going to pick her up at 1 
So we're gonna finish our lunch, pick her up, and uh, enjoy our show. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and if you're new here, subscribe, and I see you next time. <laughs> so we picked up Sarah, and since she's not eating those falafel balls because they're a bit spicy, she got some rice balls that I made. <laughs> Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Are you excited, Sarah? rice world basically a bowl of rice filled with avocado and some seaweed if you guys like let me know in a comment and i will post the recipe for that it's a great uh to go uh, snack or even meal they're very filling you love it sarah yeah all right <laughs>